of the box, WordPress and LearnDash give us a ton of functionality to help us make our online learning site whatever we want. But one of the places that WordPress in general falls short is the ability to customize the login screen. In this video, we're going to go ahead and find the right plugin to customize the login screen as well as redirect our users to an account page. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create a account page using the Learn Dash profile shortcode. So we're going to go to pages, add new. We'll make a page called my account and then we'll add in the Learn Dash shortcode. You can see that it's the first screen that we see and we can make some customizations here if we'd like, but we're just going to insert the shortcode. Since we're also using WooCommerce, we're going to make an area called Purchases where we can display all of the WooCommerce purchases right from the account page. We'll go ahead and publish this and then we'll make sure it looks good on the front end. So here we have our course profile, all of our registered courses, and our purchase info. Perfect. If we're using WooCommerce, we can actually just customize the built-in WooCommerce account page as well, but we're gonna start from scratch for those of us who aren't necessarily using WooCommerce. So now that we've got the account page set up, we're going to head over to the plugins area. You can see that I have installed two plugins here. One is the custom login page customizer by Hardeep Asrani. We're going to view the details here so you can see what it looks like for you to download it. And you can see it's called custom login page customizer and it has some examples right in the banner. This will allow us to quickly and easily customize our login page straight from the WordPress customizer. So it's a very visual editor, which is fantastic. The other plugin is called Peter's Login Redirect. So this plugin actually does a lot more than what we're going to use it for for this video. But one of the things it allows us to do is redirect all users who have logged in to a specific page. We're going to go ahead and activate both of these and then get started. So with that, the first thing we're going to do, because it'll take the least amount of time, is head over to Settings, Login, Logout, Redirects. Here you'll see that we can redirect specific users, specific roles, specific levels or privileges, and then we have a generic section for all other users. We're going to grab the link for our account page and then paste that into the all other users section. We could also customize the logout URL if we'd like. So if we want to redirect people to the shop as soon as they log out, we can do that as well. So we'll click update. And now we have a URL for all users that don't fall into one of our other redirect categories. And since we haven't set any of the other redirect categories, this should work for all users. Now we will go to Appearance Login Customizer. This will take us to our custom login page customizer area. You can see that it's also an entry in the default WordPress customizer. And when we get here, we have the default login page. There are lots of options here, but we're going to start with the template. So you can see that this plugin gives us three templates to choose from the original, a dark mode, and this nice kind of 3D looking form. And this is the one that we'll start with. So the first thing we're going to do is change the background color. And we have a logo with a white background, so we're actually just going to change this to straight white. We can also upload a background image if we want. The next thing we're going to do is change the logo. So instead of displaying the WordPress logo, we're going to display a logo that we created. So we'll go ahead and upload that now and we'll make note of its size, 1000 by 400. We'll choose the image and you can see that our image is scrunched down a little bit. Maybe we can adjust the 
width and the height. It looks like the width and the height is kind of based on the container here. So we'll try to find something that works with our dimensions. And it looks like a 200 by 100 logo looks just fine here. Uh, we can also change the padding on the bottom to zero uh, to make sure that there's a reasonable amount of space between our logo and our form. And we can also change the logo URL. So I'm just going to change this to a slash shop so that we go directly to the shop if somebody clicks the logo. So with our logo set, it's time to go to the form. For the most part, we're going to keep our form the same. We're going to keep the background color. Uh, perhaps we can get rid of the box shadow or make that white so that we just have a very flat form. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll skip over fields, but we can also customize the fields if we want the username or email address and the password. We're going to go to the button. The background of the button is going to match the yellow that's in our logo. And we're going to make the hover just a little bit lighter than that. And then the last thing that we need to do is get rid of the text shadow. So we want neither a box shadow nor a text shadow. And it looks like the way we'll do that is by making it just the same color. There's also a few other things we can do, like disable the lost password link, change the colors of the links, which we will need to do. We'll make those maybe that same yellow as our button. Great. And then the text hover color, again, will kind of make that a little bit lighter than the actual text. And if you do know custom CSS or JavaScript, you can go ahead and add it right here if you'd like. So we'll go ahead and click publish. And then we'll X out of this. And now if we log out, we get redirected to the shop. And if we want to log back in again, you can see that we have our fully customized login form. We'll fill out the information and we are redirected to our new custom account page. So that's it for this video. In it, we found two plugins that allow us to really customize our login experience for our users. The first is custom login page customizer, which adds the login page to the customizer for WordPress. And the second is Pete's login redirect, which gives us a lot of flexibility for the rules about logging in and out of our website. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great